Hello, one and all, and welcome to From the Depths. Today we're going to be doing the advanced cannon tutorial. Let me clean up all the parts after I tell you what they all are. First off, we have the firing piece. Coming along, the gauge increase, the gauge cooling unit, and splitter, so you can do it in other directions. Autoloader, belt fed. This is the solid clip, non-solid clip. This one has more, sh not shield, what am I speaking? Um, this one, it has more armor and weight, but it's worth it compared to this if the, you don't want it to take damage. The auto loader, mantlets, I put down a few more, just of my favorites, and barrels. You're gonna need a barrel. If you don't, then your cannon's kinda useless. Now let's edit that turret. I have placed the turret that is somewhat unde under the deck. It's just in a little example. And the little thing over here is our ammo, ammo controller, because advanced cannons need ammo controllers. I'm first off going to place... Actually, I want to place this. Facing that way. But now we're going to turn it upward and do shift to replace it so it's facing the proper direction. Let's go up. Make sure you have a hole in your deck so it can go up. Ah, that's way too many gauge increases. Uh, two. That should be fine. Three of those. Now let's get the split piece like that. There. Ooh. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I don't want to face it that way. I need a mirror. Make sure you have mirror mode on when building your cannons. That should be good. I'm gonna put some more cooling units up here. Should be good. You need the firing piece. I'm gonna go right here. On the firing piece, I suggest that you use a mantlet. I personally use the anti-air and this one, the three meter tall. Every once in a while, I do use the default or this one. Normally, it's this one instead of the default. I'm gonna leave the rest out of the way for the moment and just show you guys a barrel. So, I'm just gonna do a quick little makeshift barrel. It's probably not gonna stay. Bore excavators are suggested, but flipping everything. Back to the gauge increase. I'm gonna place some more cooling units down here. How big is the cannon's gauge? Um. Hmm. I think two more should be good. Yeah, that's perfect for a more than one barrel. You can change the amount of barrels. Six is as high as you can go. One is a minimal. If you think you could go negative barrels, then you're a little crazy. I'm gonna go with a double barrel one mantlet. And we have the basics. It still can't fire. Belt fed loaders versus auto loaders. Auto loaders just normally load, but belt fed are slightly different. Cause they can oh they're only one length. Well, these are flipping up to 8 meters, and the autoloader belt fed can, it increases the firing speed, yet it also, you can't reload while firing, unlike the normal autoloader, which you can reload while firing. There. Um, I could place it here. Um, yeah, whatever, place them here. Let's get some in the front. And on the sides. There. And now, you could just attach these, but if you add clips, it'll actually help. I suggest you use the solid ones, which I'm going to use only a few of these on the front and back. Oh, missed one. There. 
or even more. My front and back. I've been having a little glitch lately of where when you go into tab mode and rotate the block and go out of the tab mode way too fast, it won't register that you actually turned the block. Now I'm going to do some normal ones. They make no difference except for some have more armor. Just for the show of what their difference is and I want to show you what the shell looks like in them. As you can see, I could have placed these a lot better. For example, I could have placed them so I could place the auto loader like on the side so I can have even more loaders into the single clip but who's smart no one yeah yeah see nobody needs to do that okay never mind a lot of people should do that uh, back to the no topic Ooh, and this channel needs some support and luck love oh ah you guys aren't gonna see nothing and actually that's probably not gonna help inspire you but slap that like button I hope you all enjoy the rest of the app and we will be uploading more from the depths soon me and sky I don't know why I said me I mean we not me -ha. now we have the basic turret done. I don't normally armor it because I put it under the deck like I showed you with my example. Now, I want to armor the top. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, considerably we could do this. I'm going to put some belt fed loaders up here to make it shoot a little bit faster. It is completely unnecessary at the moment. And I think you also have to have a clip in them. Hold on. Eh. Belt fed. Um... Nope, don't need a clip. Okay. That's perfectly fine. There. And I'm not going to put it there. I'm just going to quickly armor it. Very cruddy armor. Do not copy what I'm doing. I suggest you put more than one layer of armor on everything you make. Ye make. Depending on how ye want me to say it. Cause me have me accent. Should I do it? No, excuse me. No, I should just that I like decorating my things don't question it it's it's just a thing when you get good at from the depths you just decide to decorate your stuff this is the simplest armoring I will do actually hold on let's see aha you won't you can't even tell there's a slab here look it's hidden it's protecting the barrel a little more okay now we have ammo right we have engine because I'm on a fortress See a fortress. Ammo, engine, fuel. Now let's customize our ammo. So, I suggest to, oops, all y'all using anything you want. Make sure you do not get rid of all the gunpowder casings. Because then your shell will go nowhere near as far as it should. Or else it'll go like 10 feet. Yay! Who likes going 10 feet straight? I also suggest you use a sabot head. It's meant to pierce. How are hot? Okay, let's get rid of that. Make it a zero. 150. That's just for the shell I made. Now let's see if it we can put it in our gun. Click that. Oh, it's loading. Okay. Let's go to my character. Let's go to binoculars. I don't know why. Look. The shell is being loaded. It's it's just very interesting to me. I'm gonna shove my character back here, and let's take a quick little look. This is a simple. Wait, I want to look at the stats. Oop, there, the shell does have stats down below, which you should really look into. But I'm just not going to that much. Uh, gauge optimum barrel length 5.1. Let's check our barrel length. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we are perfect. We are actually a little over the amount we need. But that, who cares? Who cares? Let's turn our turret a little. Let's aim up. And how to follow a shell, just in case you're wondering, is hit caps lock right after you shoot. This is what we're shooting at the enemy. Armor piercing of 13, explosion damage of 107. 
do not try and replicate this. This is actually a very cruddy shot, but yeah. Okay, I'm now gonna like as fast as it can possibly fire. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty low, but our ammo is at zero. Not zero, but extremely low. So, actually, I don't think those ones are hooked. Uh, no, they are. Okay, good. So, that was the advanced cannon tutorial. For all y'all who needed it. Yes, let me blow up the ammo storage. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's the minigun. Hope you all enjoy!